What I love the most about Emily is she's very caring and nurturing. Me and Emily did long distance for a year before, like when we first started dating, like we've always been truthful and good for one another. I love that Jason is the most accepting person regardless of anything that I've ever done. He's always backed me. It's real, like it, it lasted through moving and miles and everything and it's still it's just something like I've never experienced before. He gets my sense of humor. We are the same exact person and it's just perfect. The world for granted While I'm still trying to understand it He came to my graduation party for high school and I didn't even know he was there yet. And he introduced himself to my entire family and that was immediately when I knew that I wanted to be in a relationship with him forever. Like we we just like went from apartment to apartment. Like the years kind of kept coming on, and like it just like set in. I was just like, that's it. That there's nothing better. Like she's the one. I'm looking forward to doing every single thing that we've always done together. But now I get to call him my husband. I'm excited about that. I always joke like we've been playing house, and like it's finally like it's all one now. It's real. Today is a really special day for all of us, and it's a privilege that as the bride and groom's friends and family that we get to be here and celebrate with them. Jason and Emily have been a big part of all of our lives, and they've blessed us with laughter and with friendship for many years. It's a huge honor and a gift that as Emily's older brother that I get to preside over this ceremony as a minister. My little sister is one of my best friends. My future brother-in-law is also one of my best friends. Jason and Emily, our best friends, who have put in the work that it takes to walk alongside and support someone. We've seen that friendship express itself in love as it moved across the country where it's remained here, growing and flourishing until this moment. The commitment that you guys are about to make is the most meaningful one on earth. True love requires much more than words. And when you keep your vows, you honor one another and you show love in a way that transcends anything you could say. Finish our Emily and Jason have prepared their own vows to exchange with one another. Jason, there aren't enough words that could really convey my love for you. You've been my greatest supporter, protector, and friend. Our relationship is absolutely the best moments of my life. I promise to hold your hand even when it's sweaty. I promise to kiss your face even if you haven't shaved. I promise to wash your coffee cup every single time you forget. But most importantly, I promise to calm you down when life has you flustered. I promise to make you laugh when you want to cry. I promise to follow you wherever life may take us. I promise you forever. I love you. Emily, I promise to love you for who you are and for who you are yet to become. I promise to nurture your dreams and to help you reach them. I promise to be honest, kind, and patient with you through every obstacle we face. I promise to share my whole heart with you, to cherish you and love you forever and ever. <laughs>